Hey everyone, I'm Allison Dagger, and today I'm going to show you how to make my dad's oatmeal raisin cookies. So first what you want to do is cream your butter and your sugar together. And the reason that you're doing this is so that the sugar cuts into the butter and uh, breaks the fat apart so that you get a better crumb to your cookie. So I'm going to add the butter into my bowl, two sticks, and then your brown sugar for a bit of a molasses flavor to your cookie and granulated sugar. And then you want to beat this until it's well combined, until it turns white because that means that the butter and the sugar are well combined and the sugar has formed these little like holes in the fat. Okay, so now that your butter and your sugar is creamed together, and you can see it's fluffy and it's um, a little bit lighter in color, you're going to add in your vanilla and your two eggs. And then I'm going to mix that until it's well combined and it's going to look silky. But you don't want to over mix this part. Okay, so now we're going to stir in our dry ingredients. I've mixed together um, the flour, the baking soda, salt, and cinnamon in here. And we're going to add this in two batches. So add half of the flour into your butter sugar egg mixture and beat that together. Again, you want to make sure you don't over mix this because then the cookies will be really tough. So I've mixed this halfway because um, we're going to add more flour and that will help to not over mix this part. And then I'm just going to finish it off by folding in what's left of the flour. All right, so that's come together. Now we're going to add our oats and our raisins, and I've already pre-mixed them together. So we're going to add this in batches too. I'm going to do it in three batches just because there's a lot of oats. There's four cups of oats in here. They're really oaty cookies. So when you're folding in the oats, what I do is I fold from the center and then turn out just so you don't um, overdevelop the glutens in the flour. Okay, that looks awesome. So now that that's all mixed up, we're going to drop them in humongous spoonfuls onto our prepared baking sheet. I'm using a Silpat. You don't necessarily need to use one, but this has been a lifesaver in my life of baking. Um, nothing sticks to it and um, you can find it in any bakery, home goods store. So I'm going to take a big spoon and you can make these as small or as large as you like. You can add anything into them. My dad loves walnuts. I really love to add citrus and cranberries into them. So get creative. You just want to flatten them out a little bit. And you want to keep a good amount of space between them. I'm going to do three across and two down. And since I only have one cookie sheet, I'm going to be baking these one sheet at a time. But I, the recipe makes around two dozen cookies. So now these are ready to go into our 350 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, so our oatmeal cookies are out of the oven. These actually took longer than expected because I made them extra big. They took about 17 or 18 minutes. So now what you're going to do is transfer them to a wire rack, let them cool down fully, and enjoy!